Hello and welcome back to another tech wrap tutorial. I'm Melissa Crafter and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this glittered Libby glass using the tech wraps neon color changing vinyl. This vinyl is cold color changing and it does change from this blue color to purple. Once chilled below 59 degrees Fahrenheit this vinyl will change colors. This cup is sealed with a top coat which doesn't affect the color changing process for this vinyl. So here I have added cold water and you can see that the vinyl has changed from blue to purple. If you're interested in how I made this cup, please continue watching. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. So I started off by prepping my cup. I'm going in with a 220 grit sanding paper and just giving my cup a light scuff. I usually sand my glass cups in the sink doing a wet sand, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to dip my sanding paper into a little bit of water and giving my cup that light scuff. The purpose of sanding my cup is so that my top coat has a good surface to adhere well onto. I'm making sure I sand my entire cup, even the bottom and the rim area. After sanding my cup, I'm going to wash it using a little bit of dish soap and then I'm going to dry it. You will notice that your cup is a little bit scratched up from the sanding, which won't be noticeable once you add your top coat. So here is the vinyl that I'm going to be using. It is part of Tech Wrap's Neon Color Changing Vinyl. These are cold color changing and they do change color once chilled below 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Adding a top coat on top of any of Tech Wrap's color changing vinyls won't affect the color changing process. That includes top coats such as epoxy or epoxy free top coats like Bright Tone or Grand Finale. Here I'm taking an ice cube so that you can see the color changing process for these six vinyls. So here I have already cut out my decal. I did cut it out using my Cricut Explore Air 2 on the regular vinyl cut setting. Now going in with my Tech Wrap weeding pen, I'm going to weed out my decal. This video is sped up. You do want to be sure to take your time when weeding out your decal. That way you don't remove any of the important pieces. Here is my decal ready to be placed on my cup. Here I have already added my transfer tape onto my decal and using my squeegee I'm pressing down on my decal to make sure that my decal adheres on well to my transfer tape. Now removing the backing from my decal, I'm going to use my squeegee here to keep my cup in place. I am then going to try to center my decal on my cup as best as I could. Then slowly beginning to remove the transfer tape and now my cup is ready for the glitter and the top coat. So here I now have my cup on my turner and I'm going to be using Grand Finale from the Crystalac company as my top coat. You can use any top coat of your choice. This is just the one that I use which is an epoxy free top coat. Grand Finale is a fast drying tumbler top coat and it could be purchased at the crystalacstore.com. It does have a two hour dry time in between each coat. All Crystalac products are water based and non-toxic. If you're interested in how to use epoxy free Crystalac products, head over to my YouTube channel, Melissa Crafter. I have additional videos there where I teach you how to make epoxy free tumblers. The glitter that I'm going to be using is Sandy Beach from Glitzy Girl Glitter. This glitter is a mix of chunky and fine gold glitter. You can find this glitter and other quality glitter at glitzygirlglitter.com. Thank you. 
to add my glitter, I'm going to add a coat of my top coat. This top coat does go on white or milky, but it does dry off clear. I'm going to add a thin coat of Grand Finale, spreading it out with my hand. It does self-level as the cup is spinning. I'm going to take some of the glitter on my hand and I'm going to begin to sprinkle it onto the cup. I am avoiding the area where my decal is. After adding my glitter, I'm going to allow my cup to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional hour to total the two hours of dry time that my top coat requires to fully dry. So here my cup has dried for two hours and I'm going to go in and add another coat of my top coat. To coat my cup with Grand Finale, I add a couple strips of the top coat from top to bottom on my cup and spread them out evenly using my hand until I feel that my entire cup is covered. When using Grand Finale, coats are added thin and a glossy finish is achieved by adding several thin coats. I'm going to add coats of Grand Finale every two hours until my glitter and my vinyl is fully covered and I'm satisfied with a gloss finish. And here is how my Libby glass turned out. As mentioned earlier, color changing vinyl can be used even underneath a top coat and it won't affect the color changing process. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.